Hi YouTube, today I'm going to be reviewing the Suzuki Swift Sport. This is not uh, my vehicle. Um, obviously I'm currently driving it for about a week or two because my Jimny is in for uh, some repair work. So, as usual, I'm going to start off with the dashboard and the interior. Uh, this is the absolute top spec model you can get. Um, it's a 2016 plate Suzuki Swift. Got all the gimmicks and features that you would have if you bought it from the dealership. It's all the top spec stuff on here. It's actually well equipped for what it is. Uh, it's even got uh, cruise control, uh, volume control on the steering wheel, basic Bluetooth features. So, I'll start off with the dashboard here. Let's see, got all your usual dashboard features there. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, um, you've got like, like th this is something that some people don't know. Uh, you see your fuel gauge there. Uh, most vehicles that are past sort of 2001 have got like a little arrow. It'll either be pointing left or right, and that points out to the direction of your fuel filler cap. Uh, it's just a little tip there. Okay, so without further ado, when you turn the key. Obviously, we get radio and power. That's what the dashboard looks like before you start it up. Got your warning lights, usual stuff. So the vehicle on, you have to depress the clutch. So the clutch is now in. The vehicle started. Just sits under a thousand revs. That's really nice and quiet. Uh, whereas my Jimny normally sits. Just above a thousand revs. And as you can see, you can hear the difference. Um, and obviously, it's different engines anyway. Uh, so, this vehicle features obviously, it tells you the uh, temperature there, it tells you what range you've got left uh, in accordance with your fuel, mileage, and time. The time is accurate. Um, about one minute behind actually so it's not that accurate so anyway irrelevant moving on uh, unlike Jimny our indicators are on the proper side they're on the left dashboard lights up a nice ice white you can't really see it that well because it's uh, daytime but and then you've got your wiper stalk here Let me just move over there we go so obviously you've got your rear wipers and speed and obviously if you want to use the jets push it up like so and you've got your time interval stored there for your front wipers and obviously as normal your wiper position so onto the centre console um, you get a warning, do not enter root information because this is also a bug standard sat nav. So, radio stations, let's have a look. So, we've got radio, CD, Bluetooth, USB. You can play songs from your SD card. Uh, you've got auxiliary and, of course, DAB. You've also got sat nav navigation. So, if we view the map there. It tells you our approximate location, just not exactly. Gives you your elevation, driving northeast and speed of zero miles an hour. Uh, onto your settings, you've got display, Bluetooth, routing, map, sound, system settings. You can restore to default. Uh, go down, you've got traffic. Um, so let's have a look on that here. Traffic disabled, enabled. Not sure what that does. So let's have a look anyway. No sub, no subscriptions available. So I believe if that's uh, if you subscribe to traffic alerts, um, but obviously all the settings have uh, been pretty much stabilised to default because um, this is a courtesy car. So if you go onto media, it's pretty easy to swap between the two. You just click on radio. And you got. 
beautiful Christmas songs going on here. Really good though. Uh, I mean, that's only on. That's only on 20. Uh, then we've got our mixer settings here: sound, bass, treble, balance, and fade. To you know what side of the vehicle you want to have sound coming from. Uh, the most and stuff like that. You can reset to the center there. Uh, really easy to just you know touch screen go ahead and skip on through the channels there and then if you want to go back to DIB boom just click on DIB media favorites high extra, uh, high extra Christmas don't know what's going on I think it's gone rogue so I'll go back to radio so onto the features down here it basically heating control fan control air conditioning heated mirrors and rear windows and that's the flow through the vehicle on your face legs and face just legs windows and legs and front window Nice, nice little storage area there for, for example, books or whatever. Traction control there. Rear fog lights and and front fog lights. No correction. They're just your front fog lights. Your rear fog lights are on the stalk here. If you put that up. It doesn't actually let you engage it until that's uh, until that's turned on, until your mains are turned on, or sides. Yeah, sides. No, oh, no, you've got to have mains on to engage that. On my Jimny, you can just have sides. But... Position of your headlamps you can easily adjust there. But I just keep it on zero. Your windows, automatic windows. I can disengage, I can engage this, and it should um, stop the passenger from opening the window. It's just like a child safety sort of thing, or if you want to play some games with your friends and stuff. I'm just going to pause, stand by. Right, that to do something there. Okay, so we've got our gear stalk here. Uh, also, forgot to show you this. Obviously, it's got central locking. Uh, as you would expect on a 16 plate vehicle mirror controls so that's that side of the vehicle done moving on to the center console bit now that's for your 12 volts that's for USB gear lever quite nice actually goes in quite smooth left left and up first down in second third fourth fifth straight into reverse you don't have to uh, you know you don't have to pull a, a lever up like you do on some cars chrome tipped uh, handbrake it's quite smooth and you don't have to depress the button either because uh, it's not really going to wear uh, that. but I, I like to just to ensure but I, I also find that when you don't depress the gear lever sometimes, uh, it doesn't come on as strong. Rather, if you did that, you can hear the clicks and you know that vehicle's not moving anywhere. But it's also good to leave it in first sometimes if you're on a hill, just to be sure. Storage. Just going to get through this quicker than I wanted to. Uh, hazards. It's also got mirrors, both sides, two rear lights, come on, double, then you've got the middle here, so you've got good use of lights, 
Right, let's move on to the outside of the vehicle. Before we proceed anyway, most importantly, to open your fuel filler cap. Let's lift that there. And to pop your bonnet, bonnet release is there. So the outside of the vehicle. This model comes with black uh, alloys there. C66 plate. That's the name of the company that's uh, providing this vehicle to me. Boot space. The catch is just under there. These seats do come down somehow. I'm not going to go over that because I mean that's something you should be able to figure out for yourself. Underneath. But I'll punch a repair kit because they don't supply spare tyres anymore and wheels obviously that's why the wheel to have a tyre it's a nice hydraulic boot got that fuel filler cap very easy to access and I'll do it's actually the fuel required Underneath the bonnet, we've got our wash, uh, dip wash reservoir, dipstick for your oil, all the standard mechanical shit, coolant, battery, nice little engine there, it's nippy for what it is. So, yeah, it's, it's a nice engine, very clean, very smooth and it copes with uh, current conditions very well. Let's get back in the vehicle and show you the rear space. It's generally quite good. Plenty of leg room. You've got cup holders there. And a cup holder in that door. As demonstrated by that Coca-Cola that I have deliberately placed. Another one there. Just hit the horn. Accidentally, well, it's hard to do this one handed, and then another cup holder there. That is your Suzuki Swift review complete. Uh, it's, I've, I've gone through most features I can, um, everything you need to know about the vehicle. Uh, so, hope you've enjoyed the video, and please comment, like, and subscribe if you're new. More videos coming up soon. Thanks for watching.